Hello, Professor Serrano. My name is Ahmad. To introduce myself, I am the solo founder of a new product called the Surge Box. My background is two and a half years working in commercial media production and two years working in digital marketing and B2B sales. What you'll see in my deck are my observations with real customers and what I saw that inspired me to work on this product. So in one sentence, the Surge Box allows photographers and media production professionals to carry and charge their small camera batteries. So what problem am I solving? So these are photos of some of my colleagues. Here we're seeing their equipment closets in their homes. In this industry, it's not uncommon for individuals to buy and own their camera equipment. So zooming in, we can see they have all these batteries and chargers. And really they have two needs. Number one, after a shoot, you need to recharge everything all at once. And two, you need to be able to bring with you the ability to charge everything. It needs to be portable. And obviously, I mean, this isn't all this isn't that portable. So right now, if you're doing any kind of shooting, like at a client's office or a conference or a concert, you're constantly packing up and unpacking your batteries. And there's cables everywhere, they're exposed, and really this gets worse the more stuff you have. And this is just restating those problems. So let's talk about the surge box. So there's two parts. The power board where you plug everything in on the left and the hard case on the right. The idea is that you can have this flat grid of outlets and USB ports and you can plug in all those small chargers we saw a few slides ago. And you can snap the power board into the case and you're good to go. And they all connect to one cord, so you can charge everything at once. All your batteries get charged at once as long as they're in the surge box. And you can bring it with you, so it's portable. So looking at the industry, the first major trend I'm capitalizing on is media professionals owning their own gear. And it's even when they work full time for a company, not just as business owners or as freelancers, they're still purchasing their own gear and spending their own income. And I also looked at the market and I asked who are the customer segments that fit this product the best. So inside the US, there are 298,000 commercial photographers, which includes uh, marketing firms, um, heavy duty like production companies, and uh, includes solo photographers as well. Uh, there's 368,000 remote drone pilots in the US and 82 million content creators, and that spans a, a wide range as well. And um, these three segments are my primary customers because they, I think they suffer the charging portability problems the most. They have the most small batteries, they're most likely to own their equipment, and they're most likely to travel or shoot on location outside of their home. And here, uh, just to measure our market and provide a, a TAM, uh, I took the I multiplied the US market segments by the Surge Box's estimated retail price of $250 and calculated a TAM of $174 million. So who's the competition? So the Surge Box sits in the middle of the camera case market and the power solution market. In the hard carrying case market, brands like Pelican in the second column, uh, they provide the case itself, but no capabilities related to portable charging. You could put batteries in it, but you, I mean, it's just a box. <laughs> in the portable power market, brands like Anchor, they provide generic power solutions like portable batteries. Um, you can buy them on Amazon, but they're not really tailored for photography or videography needs. They're more just, you could use them for that, but really they're uh, just generic power solutions. So the surge box in the first column, we provide a lot more capabilities, provide portable charging, that organizational aspect for holding and carrying batteries and chargers, and it's customizable for you as a photographer or videographer in that you can use your own existing chargers that you already own. 
So what's our marketing strategy? So the Surge Box will be launched and sold as a consumer retail product. We'll sell direct to consumers through our own dedicated e-commerce site as well as Kickstarter on launch. Uh, we'll also sell through retail channels like Amazon BH Photo. In the future, it would be nice to sell B2B wholesale. Um, we're envisioning uh, bulk orders for media and news outlets like, for example, the Rolling Stones. They could purchase 400 units and then uh, divvy them up to their individual journalists and crews. Uh, we can also sell to physical brick and mortar retail like Best Buy. And for promotion, Kickstarter, um, that's easy access to hot buyers looking for new tech. That's in the middle column for our launch. Kickstarter is really a no-brainer for new products to get traction and collect pre-orders. On the left, uh, with social media, our target audience, I would say they make buying decisions based on what they see other people doing. So giving our product to those influencers is the best ROI advertising we could probably get. And then on the right, that's the, uh, the e-commerce channels I mentioned earlier. So who are our key partners? Here we have three categories of partners, but most important is our product development partners, specifically our product design firm partner, Bay Area Innovations. The owner of Bay Area Innovations, his name is Sean Best, and he's active with USF Engineering as well as other colleges, and he's experienced in taking products from concept to prototype to market. And later you'll see his firm's design services uh, factored in into our costs. The other partners include our supply chain and business resource partners. So for physical products, uh, you need your manufacturer and you also need your logistics partners for storing inventory and fulfilling orders, right? As we're in the concept phase of the startup, there hasn't been much consideration yet as we're still focusing on just the product development itself. Uh, thankfully, Sean has recommendations for these partners, um, which will defer to his expertise in the future. So looking at revenue and costs, uh, in the short term, we're looking at estimated at least $47,000 in costs related to product development and manufacturing fees. So on the left, uh, for product development, Bay Area Innovations, uh, they actually quoted me for $9,500 for design and prototyping services. And this can increase with additional design versions and material costs. And on the right, uh, oops, I, uh, I researched other similar electronics products that were going to market and they had published a breakdown of their costs when working with their manufacturers to become mass production ready. And so I, I broke down that details, those details more in the written document, but I'm estimating at least 37,500 because this includes custom molds, uh, custom tooling um, and assembly. And um, you also need to test and refine the production units before they're ready for going to market for uh, mass market. So breaking down the unit economics, um, at the very top, we are pricing initially at 250. This is middle tier pricing in the hard, carry, hard case market, where the Pelican luxury brand uh, goes for 375 and generic brands we found go for 150. So we're priced right in the middle. Um, and then for the uh, costs in production and importing, you can see I estimated our uh, components for direct production based off of similar comparable products that I found available for wholesale. And then for importing, I talked to Sean, he estimated that you could import and, and truck your units to a warehouse for about $25. Um, and that gives us a total landed cost of $100. So if we sell for retail at 250, and it costs us $100 to land a unit in our warehouse, that gives us a 60% profit margin at $150. And that's a surge box, thank you.